2020 marks an incredible 40 years of children in need. Since the charity's humble beginnings, more than £1 billion have been raised for children and young people all over the UK. And yet very little is known about the charity's iconic figurehead, the famously bandaged Pudsey Bear. That is, until now. You're not getting me to do one of those talking head videos about Pudsey. I gave him two pounds back in 1992. Isn't that enough? So if this ends up in the BBC, I will shove that camera right up your... Not many people know this, but Pudsey actually swam the length of the Thames before me. Pudsey actually did it twice. The thing is, Pudsey's quite different to me and doesn't actually like to talk about it publicly, but I do, which is why I'm talking about it now. Oh, what an absolute lovey. <laughs> uh, an absolute darling. A real pioneer for us TV animals, you know. And to think he raises all that money for charity with his bare hands. <laughs> See what I did then? Bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <sighs> well, originally it was me, Baby Spice, Posh Spice, Scurry Spice, Ginger Spice and Large Yellow Bear Spice. But the record company thought he stood out a bit. Yeah, Pudsey came along to the video uh, in 2000 for Spinning Around and I, well, I had a few things on the rack but he's the one who suggested that I wear those gold hot pants. Yeah. Um, he also suggested like a polka dot headband and I just said, nah, that's a step too far. I was there the day he invented the floss. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's right. Patsy invented the floss and the dab, the dab, whoop! Most of my songs have been influenced by that lovable yellow bear. I will always love you. Well, that was about our everlasting friendship. Jolene is actually Pudsey's middle name. I was a MySpace type of guy. Got nowhere. So I tried Facebook. Nothing. I was so close, so close to giving up. And then all of a sudden, Pudsey came from out of nowhere and hit me up with the YouTube. I'll tell you what, Cocker, they've got the wrong mascot, you know. I'm way better than that bear, because I've got 20-20 vision. Nothing goes unseen by these eyes. So go on, let us be the mascot for children of needs. Children in need. Ah, oh, is that what it says? <laughs> OK, so back in the early days of Comic Relief, Richard Curtis and I met up with Pudsey to get some fundraising tips. We even did a fun run with him. <laughs> Didn't go well. Pudsey tripped over and took out Richard. Pudsey then bumped his eye, hence the bandana, and Richard banged his nose really hard, which gave me the idea for Red Nose Day. Well, you know, like, I've had huge stars on the show, like uh, Tom Cruise, Adele, Will Smith, Beyonce, Jedward, but I have never been able to convince Pudsey to say yes to coming on the show. So, uh, Pudsey, if you're watching, please come on the show, please, just for five minutes, a minute, 30 seconds, please. OK, Graham. So we know everything about Pudsey, from his bare top to his bare bottom. A singer, an actor, a philanthropist and a deadly carnivore. Here's to you, Pudsey. OK, that's all the voiceover done. Happy? Well, that's not very charitable, is it? Oh, well. <laughs>